Hey everybody, welcome to One Rope Biker. I am your host. <laughs> Use that term loosely. I am Lloyd, and we are in beautiful Truro, Nova Scotia. Although today is a little bit of a cold and dreary day. There's not much sun out, and the uh, sky is kind of gray all around. It's a little bit brighter over there. But anyway, uh, yesterday I had planned on making a video of some sorts with me and the bike of course um i wanted to mount a camera mount on here i've since discovered that the camera mount is way too big to mount on there so that won't be happening um if anybody knows of a camera mount that fits on the handlebars of motorcycles drop a note in the comments please because i've been desperately looking for one and i'm also looking for one to mount on that bike now you see on that bike there's all kinds of well, there's, there's a dash in there, like a car. That's, well, this is the granny mobile. Anyway, um, I don't want to be cutting into the plastics or drum holes or anything like that, but I do want to mount, maybe stick something on there as a camera mount. I'd like to get one of those Insta360s. Apparently they come with a camera mount, or you could buy a camera mount. Anyways, um, yesterday was 20 degrees, and I didn't get to see any of it, because yesterday morning I ended up in... The hospital with sharp pains in my chest and it turned out that it was not a heart attack thank god knock on wood <laughs> it was uh gallstones who the hell puts rocks in your gallbladder anyway um i guess it's from eating fatty foods apparently <laughs> who knew uh fat was bad for you yeah so anyway the uh they want to operate, but yesterday was too busy at the Emerge to do any operations. Like, and I tell you, I could not believe, when I got out of there yesterday at 4 o'clock, I could not believe the amount of people that was out in the hallways on gurneys, paramedic gurneys, not even on hospital bed gurneys, they, 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 they were in paramedic gurneys, with two paramedics per person. There was like eight paramedics out there. So that means that there's four ambulances sitting out in the parking lot not being able to go to other calls because such a shortage of doctors, such a shortage of nurses, and space, we need a bigger hospital, that the paramedics are not allowed to, it's not like the movies where the paramedics bring in the, or, or like Grey's Anatomy or whatever, the paramedics bring in the, the people and then the doctor takes over. No, no, they sit in the hallway. Yesterday I was there for nine hours or more and they were there shortly after I was, and they were still there when I left. So anyway, um, went there, big, big friggin' chest pains, didn't know what to do, I thought I was coming out of my own skin. Um, like, it hurt. Man, I'm gonna tell you, oh boy. I never felt pain like that before, and I got scared. Honestly, God, I got scared, because I thought it was gonna be a heart attack, and I don't want none of that stuff. So anyway, um, I, uh, I had all intentions to make this nice video for you. It was sunny out and all that good stuff. And anyway, I didn't get to make that video. My camera's on this camera. I didn't get to make that video. So I said, well, even though I'm not feeling the best today because they drugged me up pretty good yesterday. They gave me this thing called Tordol. That took the pain right away. And then they filled me full of antibiotics and stuff like that. So anyway, today I'm really dry, even though they injected me through IV with um, some something that keeps you hydrated, but today I'm really dry and I just don't, I'm just not feeling 100, you know? So anyway, uh, I'm not feeling bad, I just I just don't feel 100, so I'm not, I'm not going out anywhere today, I'm not doing anything, I, I don't feel like I should be out driving around in traffic and, you know, whatever. Um, Last night, even watching TV, like I fell asleep maybe two or three times. Just watching TV. I, I, and last night, too, I got in bed and I was watching some YouTubers and and the old YouTubes there and fell asleep again. And just like, uh. So anyway, and I wasn't even tired, but I just, whatever, nodded off. So anyway, um, I wanted to come out and just... I don't know, say sorry, I didn't make a video yesterday. But I had good intentions. So yesterday was going to be uh, 20 degrees. I was going to try and mount the camera on me somehow. And um, 
put a battery charger on this thing, get it running, and then take it for a good ride to charge up that battery because it's low. Because since I got this baby back, um, I haven't ridden it a lot, but I've ridden that one even less. And I've been so busy this summer with my business that I haven't had a chance to ride that one <laughs> much. I may have had it out like four or five times, honest to God, and that's a shame. Um, I keep looking over here because that's where my face is, but I should be looking there. But anyway, um, I'll get used to this camera after a while. Here you go, I'm looking at it now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, anyway, 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 yeah, I said it a lot, I don't know why. Um, nervous tick, is that what they call it? Nervous tick? I don't know. I don't have tick or Tourette's or nothing, but anyway. Um, so today I'm just out uh, cleaning up the old barn there. That old thing. I'm sitting in the trailer right now because that's where my bikes are. And I'm uh, going to clean up the old barn a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm not doing much today. Just cleaning up the old barn. Uh, moving stuff out of there. Putting it up in my shed. i got a 10 by 20 shed up top. There in the backyard. And... Um, oh, what am I saying? I'm cleaning that up because eventually I'm going to tear that down. But I'm cleaning it up right now because I want to get this bike in there. The, the soft tail. The Ultra Classic will stay in the barn or stay in the trailer for the winter. I'll cover it up in some blankets so that when that roof sweats, it don't get on the bike. I'll put a plastic over that over them blankets so nothing is getting wet like a tarp, but I'll keep it raised off or anything. And uh, this little girl is going in the barn so I could do some work on it during the winter and produce some videos for you. So. I'm going to sit in this video now and go to work in the barn. I don't think I'll be out there very long, maybe an hour, and then I'll go in and relax. It's quite cold today. It's 7 degrees Celsius here in Canada. Well, not here in Canada, but here in my part of Canada, Nova Scotia, Truro. And uh, I love this community. It's awesome. I love it here. Um, like, I'm not kidding. I'm like two minutes out in in town, but like I got a nice big backyard. I got a double lot, so I own this lot and I own this lot. And by I, I mean we, my wife and I, a bunch of junk up in the backyard. But that's all getting that's all being seen to as well. So anyway, um, I'm going to end this video now and get to work in the in the old barn here. Get some of this cleaned up. I got some stuff all ready to go. Old Radio Shack um, RC cars. No 4x4 truck. Um, sand. I got two of these. I got. I have three of these actually. I don't know why. Yeah, keep going on the noise. Road noise. Yeah, so I have two of these Golden Arrows. And I have three of these. One. This one's black. I have a blue one. And I have a yellow one that's been painted black and white because that's what I did when I was a kid and these these two I bought just last year I haven't used them yet but this one works like a charm this one does not work but uh, I was given this one by somebody I don't know who so anyway yeah I'm hoping to get all that mess cleaned out of here so I can get my truck parts for the Studebaker in here so I can work on them I'm gonna clean off that table so I can put work Ugh, Studebaker parts. Where's my finger? Right there. Put Studebaker parts on it and uh, clean them up and paint them and make them patina. And um, I'll show you that truck. That truck will be featured on uh, Rusty Wrench Customs, which is also myself as well. There's the old girl there. 40, 47 Studebaker. I love this truck just because nobody else has one like it around here there is one other one actually and it's in Dartmouth which is like 40 minutes away but he's got his on a Dodge chassis a Do like a full-size Dodge Cummins chassis this is on its original frame the only thing that's not original to this truck are those fenders right there and that's a rear end out of a Cadillac and the front end is Camaro I believe but anyway 
look at that dash. Could you, like, could you imagine? Just look at it. Just look at it. It's going to be a nice old truck right now. Or when she's done. Not right now. Right now she's a little bit crusty. Look up there. Can you see that? Crusty rusty. So this truck is registered in my name in Nova Scotia, which is sometimes hard to do uh, because it came from Ohio. That's right. It's American. And I love Americans. Oh, congratulations on your president. Congratulations. I salute you. I do. I like Trump. I do. He tells it like it is. There's no bullshit about him. I like him. I'm sorry if you don't. Hey, could have been worse. Could have had that Harris chick. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to end this video right now and I'm going to do a little bit of work before I go in and relax because, like I said, I'm not feeling 100 today. So, uh, peace and cheers and all that good stuff. And we'll be seeing you perhaps tomorrow in another one. Take care. Have a good one.